Everybody, welcome back to Near Automata. Uh, in the last episode, we did everything we did the first time around, except we used our brains, not our muscles. And that's what we're going to keep on doing. We're going to hack stuff, we're going to have a, a jolly old time. And I'm going to be continuing the tradition of this playthrough, which is to get through it as quickly as possible. Because I don't have time for side quests. I don't have time to bleed. There's a million other games I could be playing right now. Not that I'm not enjoying this, because I am. But goddamn, Sonic Mania just came out. That's, that's mostly it, actually. <laughs> I just really want to play Sonic Mania. I've actually forgotten where we are in the story at this point. I think the last thing I did, did I kill the, um, was it Adam and Eve the last fight I did? can't remember now. Where are we going? Uh, I guess we're going there. Now let's take a look at the quest list before I do anything rash. No, that's a side quest. We don't care about those. Oh boy, I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, let's... Let's just try going there. And see what happens. I can't remember where to go from here. I probably said at the end of the last session, I probably said I was going to check it up. But I didn't do that. I'm pretty sure this... I'm pretty sure you don't have to come back to the desert at this point. Okay. Let's just have a look at what that is. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe that is where you have to go. This a pod? Hypothesis. The owner discarded this pod and left it in safe mode. Motives unknown. What happened to the Yorha unit this belonged to? Is this pod still online? If it is, see if you can overwrite the original owner with my ID. Activation complete. Access granted. Previous owner ID successfully overwritten. Special weaponry now available. Interesting. Yay! I got Mirage back. What was my current one? Won't even let me use it. But yeah, you better believe I'm keeping that. Okay, so where do I fucking go? Oh! Return to Bunker Iron Access Point. I am stupid. Wow. I apologize if you were screaming at your screen because of that. That just shows how little attention I'm actually paying. I feel like I don't pay as much attention to games while I'm streaming them. I'm not very good at multitasking. Okay, so let's go to the bunker. That makes sense. Let's go to the bunker.
killed my father. I killed my mother. I killed my father. I killed my mother. And in his hand, he coldly gripped both the joy of growing up and the agony of being alone. Classic bedtime story. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. Jill killed her parents. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course. Your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. All right, then. Man. Commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Why not? Why don't we rest a little bit, 2B? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. <laughs> when do we come back to my place? Pod's freaking out! Doesn't it let me, um, just zap back from here? Yeah, there we go. I guess you actually had to rest. Pascal's village. Cows up top. Not you. Um. Oh, it's nine S and two B. Yes, those machines cost quite the ruckus, don't you think? We need to talk. Two B showing off up there. I'll help however I can. Pascal. Yes, two B. Aside from this village, are there any other machines that are cut off from the network? Sounds like something we should check out. I remember now. We have to go kill the baby. completely forgotten the events that take place. It's baby killing, then we go to that fake city underground, right? Something like that. Report. 
Mail notification received from access point. I'll check it later. If you're hearing any weird noises, my cat is going nuts. She got a bite. And uh, we've had her wearing a cone for a while. Operator 60 to 2B. She's just taking it off and is going crazy. The monitoring signal from the new access point has gone silent. I'm sending you the positional data. Please investigate the site as soon as possible. Understood. Is, is this the right way? No. <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm not doing a side quest. Get out of here. What do you think I'm made of time? Time is the one thing I don't have, man. I don't even know if this is faster than sprinting. It's probably not. Feels like it is, though. So cool. Uh, I guess I'd better read that mail, even though it's something I probably got the first time around. <laughs> Trying to encourage me to do the fishing minigame. No. Say, 2B. What? When do you think you'll be willing to call me Nines? 9S works just fine. Well, yeah, but... Man, this job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments. And you should work on keeping your... This must be the commercial structure <laughs> Pascal was talking about. The records say it was once a facility known as a shopping center. No getting through here. Maybe there's some kind of mechanism we could engage? Right, this is where Emil was. If we were human, we probably would have gone shopping and such here, right? More meaningless conjecture. <laughs> You're so serious, 2B. You know that? Alert. Multiple machine life forms detected above our position. All hail the forest king. All hail the forest king. Who the heck is the forest king? Ow. You're getting distracted. Ted. I'm a scanner. Combat was never meant to be my forte. This guy, he's just running away. Let's. Oh. Is he just gonna run? He's just freaking out, isn't he? I thought maybe if I let him live, he'd do something interesting. Seems weird, to be. Let's kill it. Wait, what? No. Good idea. No. Okay, what was that? 
We'd better get more <laughs> more backstory on this, for God's sake. Although it would be a very Yoko Taro thing to do if we didn't. Looks like the forest is just ahead. I mean, are all the robots Emil inside their heads? Or was it just that one? All right, these guys messed me up for the first time. Here they come. Better keep your guard up. I'm aware of how to fight. You just be careful. I yep. will be. They're really strong. Oh, they're really strong. Go all out. No regard for your own safety. Whoa. What the hell? This is new. This forest we are stationed in. It is hot, humid, unhygienic. A punishing hell for machine-like forms. None should have to live in such a place. So did that happen because I checked out the machines. robot? They were corpse? talking about a king, right? I saw what looked to be a castle further in. Maybe we should take a look. Lots of enemies up this way. We must protect our king and kingdom. Just gonna move around them. supposed to reach that castle Is that chest open? Hope you guys don't mind that I'm kind of bull rushing this now. Over that way. Right? I'm confused. I'll just kill these guys.
Oh, for fuck's sake, lock onto him. Oh, this one sucks. So those machines had a king? But how can a concept like loyalty be understood by a machine? Ah, uh, okay. It just happens randomly. Or at set points, I mean. The opposite of what I just said. <laughs> His Majesty. Oh, jeez. Like, why do we even come here? Like, don't forget to... Investigate Pascal. And Pascal's like, oh, there are some other robots that are off the network, but they're... Mean. It's like, okay, we'll go investigate. And then we'll... Watch someone kill a baby. Oh, that shockwave. This is gonna be bad. Ow. Stop him doing that. Okay. I don't even know why I'm picking this stuff up. I should probably sell some of it. Get me some of those sweet, sweet chip plug-in upgrades. <laughs> yeah, I 
remember where this safe point is. Yep, this looks like a king's castle, all right. Okay, that sucks. for hostile enemies to be Roger that nine so. <laughs> wait what did you just say Roger that nine ass wait no that's not what you said you said nines or at least something close to cut the chatter and engage the enemy yeah yeah good I'm not this thing again I don't know what I'm supposed to do in that situation. Ball. I hope you guys can see what the hell's going on. Yeah. I'll be honest, I'm looking at my cat half the time I'm playing this. She's such a cute cat, you just can't blame me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stop it! As per you might expect, I am not fucking around with these guys. Okay. <laughs> His Majesty hasn't grown at all. He's a machine. <laughs> There's still the android corpses. <laughs> oh 
God, and I'm gonna kill everyone in that room. And the other androids are gonna come along and fucking stab the baby. Kill you. Take the inch, take the inch. <laughs> Is this their king? Poor little babby. I cry every Tim. To be, that's an android, a Yorha type android. Alert! This unit is currently wanted by Yorha. Annihilation recommended. Annihilation? But why? Let's go, Nines. To be. Fucking hack it. Fucking hack it for God's sake. Bunker. Bunker. This is gonna be hard. Ah. We've picked up a signal from the black box of a fugitive known as A2. A2, that was it. I get stuck in these corners. Oh, it's so difficult. What you see in front of you is This is good practice for hacking though. I think this is an easier one. He says getting hit. Twice. And failing! But she's she deserted us. She's dis Oh, come on. Like, I just have to- I get stuck in the corners and I have no choice but to get hit. Now kill her before she kills you. I had so many opportunities to damage her then, and I failed them all. God. That was an easy one, though. Oh, no. Ow. Oh, I forgot about that. Now the music kicks in. so bad at hacking. Why am I so bad at this game? Stop it! It's 
so many bullets. I just don't understand how anyone can focus that hard. Ah, Jesus Christ. Fuck's sake, I'm so bad. Jesus. Oh well, that was enough. <laughs> I'll take it, whatever. you betray us command is the one that betrayed you let's go after her to be ignore the baby Woo. let her damn she got away operator this is 9s Patch me through to the commander. Roger that, 9S. I'm sorry, commander. We failed to defeat the fugitive. I see. Well, at least you're both safe. That's an incredibly powerful unit you just faced. You should probably keep your distance in the future. Commander, why did A2 desert the force? I'm afraid that's classified. Oh? Huh. To be? Yeah? Let's go ask Pascal about A2. He might know something. All right. Whether in wind or rain, thunder or snow, or even amidst the rising flames of war, they were always together. They never understood why. They spent their lives nestled together. Forever. Forever and ever. I don't get it. Um, Pascal? This is 9S. Oh, you survived. How wonderful. Yeah, we're fine. But there's something we want to ask you about. Of course. Anything. Actually... It needs to be in person. Hmm. Understood. I'll open the gate we built to deter enemy invaders. You'll be able to reach the village through there. Surely I could just teleport there, right? Silly Pascal. I have magic vending machines. Faster if you just take a look at this recording. I see. Information about this A2 android is indeed contained within our archives. We all understand her to be rather dangerous. However, she's never visited our village in person. My apologies. That's all the information I have. I see. All right, thanks. Let's stay sharp and head back to the resistance camp. We should run a check on our consciousness data and resupply. Good plan.
9S, why did you ask Pascal about A2? Huh? It's not recommended to interface with machines without consulting command. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Though I suppose such intense curiosity can be admirable in its own way. <laughs> Thanks, 2B. Still, machines are the enemy. Don't forget it. But we are also machines. Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. Yeah, yeah. No problems here. Copy that. I also need to inform you that the commander offers her personal praise for your recent achievements. As a direct result, we are currently considering boosting production of your model. <laughs> really? I'm happy to hear it. I couldn't have done it without your support, Operator. You're always so cool under fire, not to mention beautiful and... Flattery is unnecessary. Operator 210, out. I really meant it, though. Oh. <laughs> All right, maybe we can sell some of this probably extremely useful crap that I don't care about. Ooh, hijack boost. No, that's the wrong one. Hmm. I mean, is this stuff useful at all? Do you use it to like upgrade weapons or something? Didn't I buy another weapon before? Yeah, I use it to upgrade stuff. I just don't care. <laughs> I mean, I'm hacking everything anyway. First things first, we need hundreds of healing items so I can cheese this game. So, fuck it. I'm not going to be using this for anything. I'm sure one of these junk items is absolutely necessary later down the line and I'm going to regret this, but... Yeah! See, that's what it's all about. The Chivos. Gotta get them Chiefs. Real talk, though. I really don't care about achievements. Like, some people, like, they make it their mission in life to quote-unquote platinum every game that they play, and I just don't get it. My favourite games in the world I haven't bothered getting all the achievements on. Like, uh, let me think of an example. Whoa! Yes! Oh fuck, I just sold all those. <laughs> oh well. Not like I don't have enough money. That's what I'm talking about. 
Uh, like Dark Souls, I haven't got all the achievements in Dark Souls. Uh, Fallout New Vegas, one of my favourites, haven't got all the achievements in that. I don't think I've got all the achievements in almost any game. I can't think of any single game that I've got all the achievements in. Maybe, maybe Bastion? I think I remember getting that one. But I wasn't even trying, it's just something that happened in that game. I'll get a stun one as well. Stun Juan. Buy all the storage space upgrades. See, this is a cool pod program. Upgrading the pods as well, right? Never mind. Whatever. And now we get to have fun with our plug-in chips! So these are all the necessary ones. Okay, weapon attack we don't care about in this this run. Critical we don't really care about. Ranged attack we don't care about. We pretty much just want defense. Anti-chain damage 3. Max HP up. Deadly heal. Evade range. Moving speed. Overclock. Stun one. I don't really need any extra healing items. <laughs> you know what? Now that I have all those healing items, auto heal is very, very useful to me. So there we go. I've got the perfect chip layout, I think. For me. Feel free to disagree because I'm I have no idea what I'm doing, as oh, you know. To be. Your timing is impeccable. Our Android forces currently have a carrier deployed in the Pacific Ocean. It should be back here to resupply before too long. The resistance is assisting with the mission. So I'd like to ask you to run a little guard duty. Seriously? Dead serious. There's a stockpile of missiles down at the shoreline that needs to be loaded on the carrier. And with all the machine activity lately, we need to stay on our toes. Of course, if you're already working on something for Yorha, I don't mind if that takes priority. Anyway, thanks in advance. Oh, I remember now, after we destroy the giant robot here, Nine, uh, Nine S goes missing. So, I guess we're going to find out what happens in that situation. Oh no, wait, I don't actually have to. I can just zip on through. So yeah, if you guys uh, like achievements, tell me why. Because I guess it's a completionist thing. And why I... must we okay. read all these books, brother? Sorry, plot's happening. 
Knowledge expands horizons and enriches existence. But can't we just transfer all this data over instantly? Into your head, perhaps, but not to your heart. <sighs> I guess. Hmm. Hey, so... Yes? My name? Eve? This book says it's a woman's name. Shouldn't we be called Cain and Abel or something <laughs> instead? Humans wouldn't change names so easily. Besides, you should be proud of the name Eve. Huh. Well, if that's what you think, then I'm fine with it. Glad to hear it. Um... Is there something else? After we're done reading, can we go out and play? I'm sure it'll be tons of fun. All right, but only after we're finished. You mean it? Then I'm gonna try extra hard to finish this. Extra, extra hard. You do that. <sighs> I'm glad they made reference to Cain and Abel, because that would have been a lot more fitting. Although they don't actually kill each other, so... Or one doesn't kill the other, or however the fuck that story goes. I ain't into that biblical shit! The bedrock here was bombed out in the last war. Looks like the whole city is starting to sink as a result. Is that what we need to protect? Let's take him out already so I can be home in time for dinner and a bath. Androids don't need to bathe. As long as you perform regular cleaning and maintenance, bathing is unnecessary. Yeah, but come on, 2 v It still feels good. God damn it. And they really do get stunned for a long time, don't they? Ah, oh, fucking Christ. It's so difficult for me to dodge that. Time slow down is pretty cool, actually. Okay, what do I do in this situation then? I have no choice but to take damage.
think that's the last of the machines. 2B, 9S, come in. Commander? Emergency orders incoming. The carrier ship that was set to resupply has come under attack. It's currently being engaged by a swarm of machines. I've asked all Yorha troops in the city ruins for assistance, and I'll need you to provide backup as well. I'm sending flight units and coordinates now. Good luck. Out. Another fight, Robofish. You see? Total slave driver. <laughs> if she didn't order others around, what kind of leader would she be? Hmm. If you say so. Oh. I <laughs> had that mirage on. Oops. Deadly heal on this is ridiculously easy, like... You gain so much health after every kill. Like, I don't even need those 300 healing items I have on me. Of a large scale enemy inbound. Looks to be 2.8 clicks southwest of us. Easy peasy. Enemy unit destroyed. Reverting back to area recon. Wait, I'm still picking up a large enemy presence. Didn't I kill that already? What on? If it's that big, we should be able to see it. Didn't we kill it already, too, B? Jesus, you're not the protagonist anymore.
That's a lot of fish. Is that a machine? It's freaking huge. Range attacks with EMP blasts. We've got to find another way to damage it. Operator 210 to 9S. Command has decided to stage a direct satellite laser strike on the hostel. We need you to destroy the enemy EMP generator so we can lock onto the target. EMP generator? Sending the coordinates to your map now. EMP generator target confirmed. Marking on map. Proposal. Destroy the generator quickly. You can attack its weak point for massive damage. So here's this giant enemy fish. elimination of electromagnetic interference. Stand by for incoming satellite laser strike. Nope. Oh, come on! It's got an electromagnetic barrier over its whole body? Trouble over there. Are you Yorha? <gasps> this is new. Hunter Squadron deploying out of North 12th C defense. Is this HQ. new? I'm the commanding officer, 4B. Don't worry, we'll take it from here. What the hell? I don't remember this. 2B, let's leave this area to the reinforcements. Maybe this did happen. I can't idea. remember. You and I should meet up at the spot I just marked. <laughs> oh my god, something that happened like really recently. We've got mortars lining the shoreline here. All the EMP shielding in the world won't help against close-range mortar fire. Got it. I'll help aim.
Dragon's armor is too thick. We need more firepower. 2B, let's try for a more direct approach. Direct? Oh, right. That's right. Lay down some fire in its stupid mouth. I don't exactly know how this is helping aim, but I'll run with it. To be, this is bad. Are you all right, To be? You can trust Pascal. That enormous machine is an ancient weapon. It was designed to help annihilate the androids. But it wound up going out of control. I was part of the machine's network when it happened. So I remember it. The moment it reached land, it went berserk and began attacking everything in sight. No one could figure out how to stop it. They eventually marooned it deep in the ocean. But it seems to be searching for a way back. Huh. Hey, 2B. I think I have another idea. You keep that thing right where it is, okay? What? Please, to be. This is gonna work. Where are we going? To be. I'm going to see if we can use those missiles back on the shore. But I need you to destroy the EMP unit on that thing's back. Otherwise, they're just going to go off course. Hello, Chaotic Nord. Activate missile controls. Prepare to launch. Have you ready to see a giant fish thing get blown up? Launch ability confirmed. Because it's happening. Fire! I didn't think this would be so hard to control. Oh, Jesus, okay. Ahead. A collision at this speed is not recommended. Well aware, thank you. Mouth. <laughs> Can't ignore, don't watch spoilers. <laughs> I don't mind, just stop watching, it's fine. 
a search and rescue party for the missing Yorha members at once. To be. Minus. Don't die on me. It's okay, they're fine. No spoilers, nobody's dead. This might be a spoiler though. The child held sway over enormous strength. Sort of. But sadly, he was also a little bit broken. He spent his long days hurting those around him. He tried his best to be good and kind. But despite his efforts, things never seemed to turn out. They told him he was unwanted. They abandoned him in the deep, dark ocean. And from the cold at the bottom of the sea, he cried out, Mother! 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 But his voice never reached his mother. Relatable. I'm kidding. That's not, that's not true. This is Tactical Support Unit Pod 042, assigned to 2B. This is Tactical Support Unit Pod 153, assigned to 9S. We pods often participate in the same battles. Exchanging our situational data would theoretically allow us to plan combat strategies in a more efficient manner. Proposal. Data should be transferred regularly between pod 042 and pod 153. Analysis. This idea is sound. Proposal accepted. Records will be organized in time for the next situational exchange. Okay. <laughs> Alright, yep, yeah, here we go. I find myself in a bizarre memory storage area, stretching as far as I can see. It's a maze, a labyrinth, a massive interconnected network. I've never seen anything like it. It must have been created by the machines. So then, what am I doing here? I am 9S, that's all I can remember. Large portions of my memory may have been destroyed. What if I forget everything? My memories, myself, my... Okay, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Just follow the emergency manual and execute the memory recovery program. Turn it off and on again. The recovery program begins to fill in the blanks in my memory. They drift back like missing letters, filling out a word. The bunker, Tubi's plan, a colossal machine lifeform fish, the last resort missile strike. Preservation mode was activated at the moment of blast. It halted most of the safeties the network had in place. I should really just press A waiting for the text to go. Funny as hell, I was in a video game. It was the worst thing I could think of. It took a while, but the recovery program managed to restore most of my memory functions. However, I still can't establish a link to my body. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do but examine the surrounding memory space. What am I doing? <laughs> It looks like the machines gathered and stored a lot of info in here. It all seems pretty random at first, but on closer inspection, I learn how it's all connected. There are a variety of entries, such as, a data on, such as data on human history and philosophy. But what's really strange are the records of machines stored next to those. In the politics category are records of the machines' own governmental endeavours. They've tried all sorts of things. Absolute monarchies, republics, democracies. And that wasn't all. 
They also engaged in other scholarly pursuits, such as philosophy, mathematics, science, and social criticism. It's like the network was copying every possible human behavior and discipline. Almost as if... The robots were trying to be Hummans? The machines are imitating humans. Why would they do that? I dive deeper into the records. I can find no indication of the machines creating new cultures or values. They only imitate human behavior. The strange thing is, if a unit fails, it fails in exactly the same way the next time. For example, if a machine forms a dictatorship that eventually collapses, it won't try a new type of government, it just forms a new dictatorship. <laughs> or if it plants crops and they die, it just tries the same thing again. And again, and again, and again. They keep performing the same behaviors, they don't ever learn! When it comes to combat, the machines show overwhelming adaptive behavior and evolutionary speed. So why do they insist on imitating humanity? And more specifically, why do they imitate their failures? It's almost as if the objective is failure itself. Oh, the human condition. I sense a change in the data, some kind of movement. I hone my perception and hold my breath. I... I hear something. A distant voice. I am now... All androids. There's something there. Something clearly intelligent. Well, it ain't humanity, then. That's for darn sure. The heck was that? Are they talking? I announce to all androids. The words shimmer into focus. The voice grows clear in my mind. It is Adam, a machine made in the image of a man. We machine lifeforms have evolved, he says. We made war learned, grew, and thus we gained a new consciousness. Indeed, it is as if a new form of existence has been born. Lies! Nothing but lies from mere machines! Adam laughs. And yet you androids claim to be alive. How very odd. You are puppets who lack even your own free will. No, you're wrong! His words flow through me as though they poured into my ear. How am I wrong, boy? I'm... we're... Perhaps you have a will after all, he chuckles. Perhaps you have desires. I'm just changing everybody's voices however I feel. Now you see, boy. If you say boy, you have to say it like that. The true meaning of life is hatred. You're wrong. A vile hatred slumbers in the depths of your heart. You're wrong. The more you try to hide it, the more that darkness grows. I'm going to try and sound like the Emperor from Star Wars as much as possible. Wrong, 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 wrong. Damn it. We were made to protect mankind. We're not the same as you machines. I can feel your anger flowing through you. All who live are slaves to desire. Such internal appetites are what give our lives meaning. Some seek beauty, others serenity. For me, hatred is the- I'm not like that! Ha ha ha! Oh yes, you are. You do not trust anything. You want to destroy everything. You have lost hope in everything. You want to obtain everything. You want to be loved by all. You're thinking about how much you want to fuck to be, aren't you? <laughs> Reality stained by lies. <laughs> stop, stop it. You're exposed, Ninus. Hatred pouring into you. You're wrong, damn it! Overflowing desire. I'm I'm not like you. Your true self, a horny teenager. Wow. We're not the same. Stop it. Stop it! It's not my fault, okay? 
She has her ass hanging out all the time, and I just... Have you seen the clothes she wears? Ah, okay, that's my favorite moment of the game so far. <laughs> but the by far. Treated their treasures with great care. One treasured family above all else. Another treasured its older sibling. Another treasured its own beauty. But one more machine treasured something unique above all else. Hate. Oh, right, I forgot 9S wasn't even part of that part. Is this... death? So dark. So cold. Ninas! Nine S. To be. Come on. Let's go home. I feel ashamed of my words and deeds. <laughs> okay. Proposal. Engage memory core diagnostics. Yeah, yeah. A single reply is sufficient for acknowledgement. <laughs> Fine. Come on. Memory core diagnostics complete. No issues detected. Good. Proposal. Engage visual sensor diagnostics. You got it. Visual sensor diagnostics complete. No issues detected. All checks complete. <sighs> it took long enough. Don't you think it's overkill to perform a full data overhaul? Unit 9S was seized by the enemy and placed in a non-controlled state for an extended period of time. There is a high probability of corruption by an enemy logic virus. All right, all right. Cram it. Anyway, I just gotta sync up with the bunker server and then I'm out of here, right? Yes? Huh? What was that? Unknown. Halt the data sync. Alert. Data synchronization is mandatory for all your high units. Yeah, I know that, but we just got some kind of weird noise. Halt the data sync for 2B as well. Affirmative. Let's figure out where that noise came from. Just to be sure, you know? Open a port to the server. <laughs> hmm, no time to examine everything. Better stick to the main data nodes. Okay. 
What's the point of all this heavy security? All the black box data has been deleted, but it looks like everything else is here. Connected to Steam. What's a barrier doing here? Hmm. Looks like records for supplies shipped to the moon. Strange. There were a ton of empty containers. That's weird. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Huh? A new port just opened. So all they sent up was some water and some... Oh, God. I bet there's one person on the moon. Because, I mean, in Nier, all humans are extinct. So I don't understand how... Detected. Council of Humanity and Project Yorho Records Index. Alert. We are not authorized to access this data. Man, this stuff is all wrong. I need to check this out, too. Sure, this is going to be dramatic. <clears throat> An attack barrier? Really? Why the heck would they install one of those in this server? Let's see. Looks like info about how the Council of Humanity was formed as part of Project Yorha. Wait, isn't that backwards? After a long period of battles and adventures, the prophet spoke. Oh, grant me the mercy of the land. Oh, grant me the joy of the heavens. Release me from my yoke of iron. Thus shall our souls be <laughs> What was that? Crap! Did they find me? Negative. Emergency backup request from 2B. Close the server connection and activate my body. Affirmative. Hmm. Some conspiracy going on. Ah, 9S. Operator? What happened? We recently detected large numbers of machine life forms throughout the factory area. We received a support request from 2B soon thereafter, but have been unable to respond due to poor reception. All right, I'll try to gain access from the main terminal. I mean, we must be quite close to the end now, right? Use of server administration room requested. Because this is the part where 2B is going with Pascal through the factory, the weird cultist robots. Request granted. You may now use the device in this room. Oh, hello. I'll stop playing after the next section. I've been going for quite a while now. Hour and a half is long for me. To stream, okay, I mean, good. not when playing games. 2B's black box signal is still up and running. These comms are all messed up. Guess I'll have to break into the other side and take control.
lower reach to me. I'll need to reach the factory's lower level first. Become as gods. Oh wait, am I going I'm going the wrong direction? Aren't I? Maybe not. Let's just keep going. Or maybe I'll check the map. Or maybe it won't let me check the map. So I'll keep going. <laughs> Dead bodies, Jesus. Look at all these broken machines. Can I hack this one? Relax, guys. It's me, Steve. Your best friend.
this is further back than I remember. Girlfriend. I'd better secure an escape route. There we go. First door unlocked. To be. Keep going straight. We'll do. Door two disabled. The door's open. Keep moving. All right. No, oh, I'm gonna die. It's open. Exit route secure. I'm gonna die. Factory system at 20% control. You have to hold out for me, 2B. Oh god, there's so many bullets. Bullets, fuck. Maybe I get unlimited shots at this one, though. Fifty percent control. Now we just have to do ninety percent. Ninety-two. Ninety-five. Ninety-eight. Two B. I just shut down the electrical grid. Period of battles and adventures, the prophet spoke. Oh, grant me the mercy of the land. Oh, grant me the joy of the heavens. Release me from my yoke of iron. Thus shall our souls be saved. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. <laughs> Those were the words I heard in the moon server, but why? Alert. 2B has defeated the Goliath-class heavy weapon unit. Hmm? Ah, right. Okay, good. Well. I think that's a good place to leave it for the night. Hope that was interesting. Uh, I think we're pretty close to the end. I don't know how much further the game is actually going to go after the end of, like, the first ending we got. I wonder how much more of the game there is after that in 9S's story. Uh, but I'm guessing we'll find out next time, which is probably... I'm probably going to try and stream again tomorrow, so if you guys want to watch, it'll be around the same time, around 8-ish, 9-ish, maybe, GMT. Catch me then. 
and I will see you guys later. And uh, don't forget to fantasize about 2B, because I know I will.